our prayer for vocations. O oh God, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Bless our Diocese of Savannah with many vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Give the men and women you call the light to understand your gift, and the love to follow always in the footsteps of his priestly son. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that now at last you revived your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lacked an opportunity. Not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians indeed know that at the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was at Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift. Rather, I am eager for the profit that accrues to your account. I have received full payment, and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Epaphroditus, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who fears the Lord. 
well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who fears the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who fears the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small manners is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, you justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. God our Father looks at the affairs of the heart. When he sees in our hearts, does he see people of faith? Does he see our trust in him? God is there and he sees us through the good times in our lives and the rough times. He is there in the peaks and the valleys. He is there no matter where we are in our life. Is our trust placed in the right person? Is our trust placed in God our Father? God gives us the tools necessary to succeed. He gives us the tools necessary to persevere when times are tough, to rejoice when times are good, all for the greater glory of God our Father all for our our ultimate reward, that of our heavenly kingdom. And so, as we look into our hearts, where do our hearts lie? Do they lie with God our Father? Have we made a worthy dwelling place for him inside of us? Do we have courage and strength to persevere, even when times are difficult? to trust even when times are hard. God will always see us through the difficult times. It is up to us to trust and believe in him. 
God is with us every step of the way. And in this time of uncertainty and trial, he is here carrying us. Will we hear him speak to us? Will we open our hearts to him and humble ourselves before him? God will never abandon us. He will never leave us. He is with us always. May we always remember to trust in him. Let us stand and bring our prayers and petitions before the Lord our God. For all members of the church, may God give us servants' attitudes in our work of building his kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit guide them in enacting legislation to protect the sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who bear heavy crosses each day, may God grant them courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples in this faith community, May the Holy Spirit guide them in forgiveness, love, and reconciliation in times of struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they join the communion of saints in praising God in heaven for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Wade Lyons, for whom this Mass is offered on his birthday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, hear the prayer spoken before you this day, and those we hold in the silence of our hearts. Answer them in your time. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good law of his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for us a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, <clears throat> we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Amen. 
take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, I'm at least spiritually into my heart. I choose to be one with you, Jesus. I want your heart next to my heart, your soul next to my soul, your body inside my body, and your blood running through my veins. I want your infinite divinity to fill me completely. Jesus, I want to be one with you in my thoughts, feelings, and desires. And what I say and do and what I do not do because of you, I embrace you now inside of me. Jesus, I love you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we conclude our Mass, I just want to wish Deacon Clark a happy birthday. Today is Deacon Clark's birthday, so we wish him a happy and blessed birthday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day.